Hi, I'm Nate at Really Right Stuff, and today I'd like to talk to you about cleaning your tripod. In this part, we'll be focusing on cleaning the clevis and the pull tab pieces. These pieces often need to be cleaned if you've been doing a lot of seaside shooting and they've become corroded inside the clevis piece. You can test this by seeing if your tripod is hard to move or if these pieces have become loose, it may fall into place without any resistance. For this tutorial, you'll need some super lube for reassembly. Um, you can use any bearing grade grease, but we prefer super lube. You'll need a brush to clean out the dirt and grime, some Scotch-Brite pads to clean off the washers, some Q-tips to apply uh, alcohol inside here for cleaning off grit, a towel to clean everything up, and water to remove excess dirt. You'll also need a few hex keys to loosen up the axle piece. I'm going to be working on a Series 3 tripod today, so I'll be using a 3 16th hex key. Depending on how tight these pieces are, you might also need a heat gun to remove the Loctite inside this piece. Um, a hammer and pin can also come in handy if there's corrosion and the axle is locked to push the axle out. So the first thing you need to do is to loosen the axle piece. This is done by putting a hex key on both sides and turning it to loosen it. If your tripod is particularly corroded, this might be very difficult. This is when that heat gum comes into place. Once you remove the first bolt, you'll push the axle out from the side. You can use a hex key if it's loose, or if it's particularly tight, you can use a hammer and punch. Next, you'll be removing the leg piece. Be ready to catch the washers. Once you remove the leg piece, you can take off the pull tab and you'll see inside for the Series 3 tripods, a spring as well as a small black tab. If the small black tab is hard to remove, you can use a hex key to pry it out. First, for cleaning the apex piece, you'll need to take a cotton ball or Q-tip and dip it in a little bit of isopropyl alcohol. You can leave any cleaner that doesn't leave residue, but we prefer to use rubbing alcohol. Be sure to get inside the axle piece, as corrosion often builds up in this piece. Next, to clean the pull tab, you can take some more isopropyl alcohol and rub it down. If you have a lot of corrosion built up, you can also use water and soap with a brush. Be sure to get inside the notch to get any kind of corrosion out. Next, to clean the black tab, you can repeat the same process. as well as for the spring. To clean the washers, go and take some Scotch-Brite pad and gently work the washer to remove all the grease and corrosion that's built up. For cleaning the axle piece, you'll need to take a brush and work all the dirt and corrosion off. Since this piece has the most exposure, it might take a little bit to get all the grime off. For the clevis piece, you'll notice on the Series 3 and the Series 2 tripods that there's grooves right here. You'll also need to clean the corners off as corrosion can get caught in the grease that normally sits there. Once all the pieces have been cleaned, it's time for reassembly. Start with the pull tab and the spring and black insert. You'll need to lock the spring inside the insert and then put the insert 
inside of the pull tab, like that. You'll orient the U of the pull tab with the U of the black insert. Make sure that these ridges on the black piece are facing outward, as they'll ride inside these grooves on the clevis piece. Once the spring and the black piece are inside the pull tab, line up the spring with a small rod onside the, outside the clevis. You'll feel the black piece sink into those grooves as well as the spring lock onto that tab. You can then slide it back and forth. You should feel the spring pull the tab back and forth. For the Series 4 tripods, you'll need to align the outside of the pull tab with the small notch on the clevis. For the Series 3 tripods, you can use the small notch on the outside of the clevis as well as the logo on the outside. Similarly, for the Series 2 tripods, you align the outside of the pull tab with the small notch as well as the diamond logo on the outside. And that's the same for the Series 1 tripods. Align the outside of the pull tab with the small notch. Once your pull tab and axle are ready to go, you can take some bearing grade grease and apply it to the axle. Then take a Q-tip or a cotton swab and work that grease on the axle. Leave about a quarter inch of grease free on either side. Once it's been applied evenly, go ahead and remove any large blobs. Next, apply a little bit of grease to both sides of the apex where the washers will ride. Then take a Q-tip and distribute that grease. Next, take your washers and put them on each side of that apex piece and then slide your leg into place. Once the leg's in place, you can take the axle piece and slide it through. It often takes a little bit to get all these different pieces to align, so I like to take a hex key and run it through as a guide and then work the pieces through. Once the axle piece is through, you can apply the other bolt. Be sure to check the bolt for a little piece of nylon to lock it in. These nylon pieces are good for about three to five reassemblies. If you don't see any nylon on your bolt, you can give us a call or order a new one. You'll tighten down the axle bolts to preference. You can test this by simply picking up the tripod and feeling how tight the leg is. And I actually got it right about where I like it. You can then use a microfiber cloth or just a shop towel to remove all the excess grease. Be sure to test the pull tab to make sure that's been reassembled correctly. And also work the leg a little bit to make sure that you like its tightness. Simply repeat that process for all three legs and your tripod will be clean. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this tutorial educational. Happy shooting.